Good morning dear friends what a joy it is for us to be together again one more time one more day to meditate on God's word at the feet of Jesus and may the holy spirit bring all the enlightenment we need to grasp the truth of God's wonderful word today's meditation is based on the gospel according to St John chapter 18 verses 1 to 11 titled the uniqueness of jesus every circumstance in which jesus was placed became an occasion of a further revelation of his heavenly character he could not be hidden wherever he was even in this garden of his agony and arrest we have a revelation of his heavenly glory bursting forth through the dark clouds of his earthly weakness what revelations can we see in his experience in his circumstances of that garden of gethsemane which became a place of his greatest agony number one revelation is a habit of a prayer verse 2 Christ possessed a spirit of prayer prayer for him was not occasional uh, or a, or a, uh, or a seasonal thing but prayer was his habit prayer was his lifeline he could not live without communication with his heavenly father he also believed in a place of worship i am in mean prayer he often resorted to this particular garden and its familiarity with the spirit of prayer please note that the place of prayer also became the place of his greatest agony the second thing we notice about uh, his heavenly character is his knowledge of the future verse 4 and also you compare it with the gospel according to st luke chapter 18 verse 31 He knew that all things that are written by the prophet concerning the son of man shall be accomplished. For Jesus the scripture was the source of his knowledge of the future. Remember in the wilderness before he began his public ministry the scriptures were the source of a power and authority to overcome the devil and subdue him what a revelation we have here he being the son of god did not come to live his life as god he purely lived a human life and even in the wilderness while confronting the devil himself He did not confront him as divine as the creator who actually created Lucifer who became the devil but he confronted him purely as a man but a man who depended on the scriptures the scripture became the source of his power and authority to overcome the devil and to subdue the devil our power over satan must derive from the scriptures revelation chapter 11 verse 12 please read these references our knowledge of the future must be derived from the scriptures not from astrology or from the stars there are other sources that man resorts to in order to understand his future what his future holds 
there are palm readers and many people think that their future is in their hand what a foolish thing for man to imagine and then as far as christians are concerned they think the so called prophets of today holds the key to his future and so many people rather than reading god's word and deriving his knowledge from god's word go and seek prophets and sit before him before them asking to pray and then tell him what god reveals concerning his life and his future my friends our future is not in their hands too and the bible gives a complete revelation regarding the future of the world and also the future of you and the future of me i need not to approach any other human sources in order to discover my future uh, my future and what is ahead of me the bible is a complete revelation concerning all these and so the the instruction here is follow the example of jesus in everything he did not resort to any other source for his power and authority over the devil himself and thus he was able to subdue him and his source was not any other except the scriptures and therefore let us follow his example of knowing the scriptures what is written in the scriptures and then depend on the scriptures as the one and only source of this information for you and then the condition of the saved and the unsaved the place of their eternal dwelling what are, where are where where is this place is going to be where will i spend my eternity i am a saved person by the grace of god a sinner saved by his grace and now i am walking with the lord in the spirit because i chose to be filled with the holy spirit of god and when i depend on these sources then i will know what is the future of the world and what is the future of the saved ones and what is the future of the unsaved everything is given in this world for you to 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 study and find out for yourself and the scripture is should be the only source that you and i must use God has placed in our hand a complete revelation concerning all these things so my friends you don't need to go anywhere you don't need to depend on any other source the bible is the only source of this information make sure you possess a scriptural knowledge of the future what is the future of the world what is the future of a uh, Uh, nations what is going to be the future of the saved and unsaved as well what is going to be the future of the devil himself and all his demons and where are they going to spend their eternity is everything is given in this word of god the bible which is your complete and perfect revelation source of revelation and so you make sure that you have a scriptural understanding and a scriptural knowledge concerning and regarding all these things then you cannot go into error and so my friends i pray that the holy spirit will open your eyes because the scripture contains all this many many of us read the scriptures but we don't see many truth 
why we are not indwelt by the Holy Spirit. And uh, the Holy Spirit is given to us that he may live in us and that by living in us and with us, he may guide us and lead us into all divine truth for he is the best teacher of God's word and he can interpret the word of God better than anyone else can interpret and make you understand. And that is why it is important for you to depend on God's word. And so we will continue this study tomorrow. But I want you to understand this. Where did Jesus or what was the source of Jesus' knowledge concerning the life that he must live? And uh, through his prayerful life, he was in communication with his heavenly father. And let us also possess a spirit of prayer. Not an occasional seasonal prayer. Which will not help us in any way. But prayer must become our breathing. Our lifeline. It is just like our breathing. And the breathing is every moment. Not just occasionally or once in a while. And so let us not live as a Sunday Christians or a Christmas Christian or Easter Christians. But let us be a follower of Jesus Christ and live a Christian life every day of every minute and 24 hours of seven days. And that is a man who shall be victorious, who will go with confidence and not in doubts or fears. Because the scripture becomes your source of information and knowledge and by the scriptures you will know where you are going to spend your eternity. And so live with confidence. And this is the uniqueness of Jesus. Even in the greatest agonizing period of his time as he came to the close of his life before he went to the cross even at that moment he never lost his balance he stood firm and when he stood before Pilate it was not Pilate who was trying Jesus Jesus was trying Pilate and he is lost in his life but Jesus remained faithful and strong and firm because he knew the source of his life and source of his knowledge by that source he knew that his time has come and he is about to go to the cross and through prayer he got his strength to go through it all. God bless you as you live this kind of a life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you bless the listeners of this meditation to understand and follow you as their best example in life and how to live a victorious life. And know the truth of God's word concerning the future and concerning even eternity. Thank God. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is a great day, my friends. Enjoy and have a good day. Amen.